Uh, welcome to Protecting Africa show. We got the uh, brother Patrick in the show. And I'm gonna be asking him a few questions about the topic I'm covering. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be asking him different questions about different African topics. Yeah. And I'm gonna be starting about uh, uh, Zimbabwe. Yeah. Uh, my first question to you gonna be, have you heard about uh, um, a, a president called uh, Mugabe? Yeah. You yeah. heard about, right? Yeah, yeah. So what, what, what do you think about Mugabe? What do you think about uh, President Mugabe? Yeah, what I'm thinking, President Mugabe, Mugabe wants extra freedom in Zimbabwe because of he wanted to people to survive and not suffering again because Zimbabwe is Africa you know the time Zimbabwe started some of things are happening in Zimbabwe are not moving well I like Mugabe because of Mugabe I was in Nigeria Mugabe came to Nigeria meet my former president Colin President Orushegu of Asanja. I was in Nigeria. Mugabe speak to, let me say, speak to President Obasanjo. Yeah. Because of the election they wanted to do, because they planned to impeach him in that post. But what Mugabe did is a, he showed that he's a real African man. Okay. You understand? So finally, after the election they did, mm -hmm. he won and he came back to the seats to be the president of Zimbabwe. Then Mugabe. I don't know people in Zimbabwe how then you know suffering or whatever whatever but I believe yeah within a year or two years yeah. starting from now yeah because I'm very very interested yeah they're gonna be fine, fine. like others Africa now now you uh, the, the the entire world uh, and the, the entire Africa was uh, bombarded with uh, uh, negative uh, 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 stories about Mugabe uh, by the European uh, countries, right? The United States media, the European Union media, you know, France, UK, and all those countries. Oh, yes, and the leading was UK because uh, it's the the former uh, oppressing country, which which uh, which is uh, still interested in keeping its uh, oppression going on. Now, now, as an as an African person, who understand what the european have done in africa if you understand you understand yeah are, are africans supposed to trust what the european media say about uh, uh, african uh, leaders like mugabe who have stood to end uh, on inhuman uh, reality that was going on in zimbabwe where africans were owning nothing africans were kept like uh, like uh, they were not even human beings in their own country because they own nothing everything was just yeah. British driven are African people supposed to believe or even uh, listen to what uh, 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 nation that have done horrible crime in Africa uh, say what, what you take yeah what I think is that thank you for your question what I what I think is that like uh, let me give you an example for Maman Gaddafi of okay. Libya okay you see Maman Gaddafi the way European people do into Africa He's not accepted. He's a painful something because they see us as we don't know maybe a tree. <laughs> okay. You understand? Yeah. We are human beings. Yeah. But I don't know why I'm, I'm European. All their eyes in Africa. You see? Okay. Now, you see what they're against. Even South Africa, even Zimbabwe, even Nigeria, even Libya. So it, this is somebody country, a nation. Yeah. You understand what European or American supposed do? Maybe them to them to check whether the president are feeding their nation or not. You okay. see, mm -hmm. uh -huh. because that's what they're supposed to put. Not them put, not, not them put their eye what the person did in that seat, or maybe he's eating money, or maybe it's not but, doing well. But but the European nation of the European Union, the EU and America have been on historical enemies of Africa. They have enslaved, which was uh, a, a brutal form of uh, 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 inhuman crime to advance themselves. You know, slavery was uh, about uh, using us like animals, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had no right and colonization was basically slavery yeah, yeah, that yeah. was going on. Are we supposed to allow such a people or countries to even tell us about human rights or if we are eating or not? Because 
we, we clearly know that they are not interested if we are eating. Yeah. Because if they were interested about us eating, why do they own everything in Africa? Why would they own our, our, our oil, our diamond, our gold? Why would they want to wipe out our languages and culture? Because it's the languages and names that are erasing our languages and names. Yeah. And it's not because it's just uh, by mistake. It is well planned that they are running. So do you think nations that have committed slavery, colonization, that are the, the reason of racism? Have you heard about racism? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Racism exists only because these countries exist. Yeah. Na countries that are, um, are, are designed based on a brutal system like capitalists, where they have to, it's a, basically a system of greediness, of um, uh, 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 where people just don't care about others, you understand? Where yeah. they can take everything from you and leave you empty-handed, you understand? Just yeah, like yeah, they've yeah, done yeah, Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think we as Africans are even supposed to uh, want to hear what they want to say about what is right in Africa? What, what can what can they manage their own countries? Because they are they have never been our friends. Yeah. So yeah. do you think we're supposed even to hear them, let them come and tell us Oh, you, you, you Mugabe, do. you did this, or you Bago, you did that. No, no, Are we no, supposed no, no, to allow no, even? No, 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 yeah. no. You know, it's allow. Yes, I like the question because one, everybody, every woman be have a wisdom. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So it cannot from your country and come down to Africa mm -hmm. and tell the person, the reader, the the the, the reader, to, um, see what he's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. No. It's not proper, it's not allowed. Because it's elected, because it's chosen. It's elected. It's, it's chosen. Tuesday. It's elected. I have a wisdom to yeah. rule. Yeah. To do some things. You understand? Because you know why white people, European and white, let me say white people, they are greedness to Africa. Like let me say now, uh, it's Nigeria. Like we doesn't have a white. And Nigeria and God bless him, we have a wisdom to rule ourselves, whether it's good or it's bad. Everybody is know what is right yeah. and what is supposed to. So the the European no need to put eye in Africa. Okay. They supposed to manage because, their own uh, uh, affairs. Yeah. Now, now if you uh, observe uh, closely and really in Africa, you will see that the entire Africa remain firmly in the grip of European. Yeah. Uh, evidence of the grip of European is like. Everything European wanted us to do during oppression, during slavery, during colonization, we are still doing it today. It means they wanted us to have their names. Yeah. We still having their names and still naming our children yeah. after European, but they never named their children after us. No, yeah, yeah, you got yeah. a point. Yeah, I got a they point. wanted us to speak their languages, which which were designed to control us, basically to dictate us. Yeah. We're still speaking the languages like they wanted and they never speak our languages. They yeah, never so, speak our language. And then if yeah. you look at the, the resources of Africa, things like oil, in you know, the entire Africa, they own the oil of Africa because African countries are, are getting around 10%, 13% of their own uh, oil, oh, yeah. for example, yeah, or yeah, diamond yeah. or gold. Okay, and yeah. Zimbabwe is the first country to have put the indigenation law which give every brown Zimbabwean, the one you call black, I call us brown because you look brown, yeah, yeah. which give every brown Zimbabwean 51% uh, ownership of, of every uh, uh, company's, uh, foreign company with a set of half a million dollars or, or more. That means yeah. the law in Zimbabwe says uh, companies that are uh, coming to exploit or do business uh, of a certain value need to be uh 51 percent owned by zimbabweans by brown zimbabweans you yeah, understand yeah, i'm understanding so before it was all for european yeah but now mugabe has put a law that says uh, which is called the indigenation law which says any foreign companies with asset of a half a million dollar or more must be 51 percent owned by uh, uh, indigenous uh, people like people. By, by, by the african people yeah. uh, now that's a reality that means apart zimbabwe the rest of africa remain firmly in the grip of uh, European in the term of culture, uh, economy, uh, uh, social life. Do you think uh, in those conditions where Europeans have total control over us, uh, Africans can progress in those conditions where Africa, uh, Europeans have total domination, total, total hegemony? Domination. Can Africans progress in, in those kind of co uh, conditions? Africa cannot progress in kind of the, this kind of the condition because why? The, 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 what Africa do surprise me? 
I remember 2012 in South Africa, the South Africa United. But since then till now, I did not discover the Africa United mm -hmm. because they are still accepting what Europeans said. Could you believe all the whole resources in Africa is Europe control it? Yes, owning it also. You see, and mostly, I don't know whether Africans they have a fear to Europe. No, <laughs> this is our home. Yeah. Salvation is free. Allow us anything European, or America, any continent needed from Africa or any country in Africa is business between the country and this country. Yeah. You see? But I don't know. Okay, now, could you believe? Um,